This ain't no how-to video, guys. I'm just showing y'all as I do this. <laughs> So welcome to my channel. My name is Desiree Marie and I do all sorts of videos including um, hair, locks, vlogs and today I'm going to do something a little different and this is an, a home improvement uh, video. Something I've never done before guys. I just um, moved into this apartment last year and still I don't have a lot of things set up the way that I wanted to but I decided to be more proactive this year and really get things done learn online as much as I could and then try to get it done so the one thing that I wanted to get done for so long is get this picture that you see behind me up on the wall it's not on the wall it's actually posted right now but i wanted to get it on the wall for so long i've been asking people and nothing has happened no one has ha helped me so yesterday i decided to go and get my own tools so that i can try to get it done i did a lot of research i got the um hooks and all of that i'm going to show you very soon but i decided to get proactive and try it myself yes i am very small and i may not look very handy but knowledge is power this right here i'm going to show you now is what i want up on the wall this um mirror weighs approximately 100 pounds and it is very heavy but it's nothing that i cannot handle i'm used to um lifting up heavy things so it's no problem to me so uh with the tools that i have i'm going to kind of bring you along <laughs> on the process hopefully i do not embarrass myself guys but you know what you gotta believe in yourself believe in yourself enough to say you know what I can do this if anybody can do it I can too so here we go all right especially in this age of Google like there's no reason why anybody should not know what to do okay so <laughs> so the first thing that I did was post this thing up exactly where I want it to be and I want it to be right in the middle of the couch like so but I do want it to be lifted up higher I have a lot of wall space up there so what I did was first post it up and I lifted it up to the height that I wanted it to be and I made a mark so if you come along with me I will show you the mark that I made on the wall right here so this is exactly the height in which I want the um, approximately how high I want the picture to be. I know that it will not hang that high because the picture does have a string on the back. So this is the back. I'm working with this wire string. And because there is a little bit of slack, it will not um, hang all the way up high like I want it to so I am um, giving it a little bit of slack in order to do so so I think I'm gonna mark another uh, mark up there just so that that mark would be the complete height in which the picture will hang so yes <laughs> guys I am NOT an expert if you have not noticed already I'm not an expert but I'm trying this thing out myself DIY style if I can do it you can do it too so I'm just gonna go ahead and mark the position on the wall so. I do have a tape measure and with the slackness on top it is two inches higher it's just two inches higher than the frame so I'm going to take two inches there we go so I have the heights already set up I know exactly the position in which I want the um, picture to rest but just in case I will mark that as well so this is the height This ain't no how-to video, guys. I'm just showing y'all as I do this.
I'm going to mark the wall through the cardboard. Okay, so I marked the points in which I'm going to hang the wire on two points on the wall. So I already have that. And um, now, I don't know where my other one is. Oh. Now I'm going to grab my OOK um, wall, drywall hangers. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to open it up. The first thing that I had to do before starting this project was know what kind of wall I was working with. And what I did was um, contact the super and he was clear enough to tell me that the wall indeed was sheet rock. And that means that there are uh, wooden beams in the walls that are holding up the fixture. So I needed to understand how to put my picture up, understanding that point. So um, that's when I did my, I started my research and whatnot and realized that, okay, I need to figure out where these wooden beams are and avoid them at all costs. So for that reason, I purchased this, which is a stud sensor. It senses where the studs, which is the wooden beams are in the wall. Alright guys, so I have to go out and get this Duracell 9 volt battery because I realized that I need the stud finder and the stud finder needs batteries. <laughs> Alright, so I'll put the batteries in. I also got myself a snack. This is hard work guys. Oh, You're still there. <laughs> right, so now that I'm confident about the area in which I am going to drill the holes, after using my um, stud sensor, it also tells me where there are live wires in the wall, which is really helpful because I don't want to drill into wires and I don't want to drill into any wood beams. So I do have some coordinates that I want to work with, and now that I do have that, um, I need to find the perfect drill size in order to put this up. So it's either this, the quarter inch, or hmm, should it be this one or give it a little bit more slack? I'm going to use this one. So, guys, yes, I'm finally going to just take a chance and drill that hole in the wall. This is all a part of growing, learning, learning how to do things yourself and be handy. No one's handy coming out of the womb, but when you learn, that's when, that's when things get good for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that chance, go up there, drill the holes in the wall, you will watch me. I feel like I'm getting a piercing or something. <laughs> I love this wall, it's so beautiful, and I've been so afraid to do anything with it, but now is the time. I'm not waiting any longer. You will watch me as I do it. covered up my uh, my chair but I did the first uh, hole which is great yay <laughs> guys 
guys. Like I said, this is not an instructional video. So don't take it like that. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm gonna test it out to see if it's the right thing working with here. And it looks like it. Awesome. So, I wanna make sure that you can see me up there. I want to make you see me here. This tripod is the worst, guys. Definitely the pits. Okay, so that is the point by which I will hang this. It's a huge hole. Very disgusting looking. But it's going to work out, you know? All right, so I had to leave and come back. Um, I got a different screw, uh, and it's called the Mega Hook Cobra. This holds up to 100 pounds, um, and being that I'm going to double it, it's going to hold in total 200 pounds, whereas my picture is close to 100 pounds. So I have it up on the wall now. I'm just screwing it in. So day two, and I just wanted to update you that I got the picture on the wall. However, it is just a little bit crooked. Um, it's not level. So what I plan to do is get another one and have it um, the same, uh, like the same uh, depth as this one to kind of like balance it because it does leave the picture looking just a tad bit um, lopsided but guys what an, an accomplishment today it's on the wall it's on the wall and it works these hooks are strong guys I was really skeptical like how could anything hold this heavy piece up this piece is approximately 100, maybe 110 pounds, same uh, weight as me, and it's hanging really well. Now this one is just a tad bit loose, but it is secure because it's holding um, the whole entire fixture from the back of the wall. Um, it is loose because I was playing around with this hole a whole lot, but this one is tight and it's not going anywhere. Um, I did not, I was not able to get this all the way in. However, I will try even more. But um, for now, I, I kind of left it because I was getting lazy. But for now, it's holding it in very well. And it's not moving, not moving at all. So that leads me to believe that this, these hooks are really working out really well. I don't like the look of the wires. So obviously, moving forward, I'm going to find a way to kind of cover that top portion. Um, maybe decorate it a little bit so that it doesn't look so obvious. But there we go, guys. I put it up on the wall. I did it myself, guys. I did it myself with no one's help. No one's help. No one's help. No one's help. All these naysayers. No one's help. All these naysayers. No one's help. No one's help. <laughs> yes, guys. You know, what, what pushes me is when somebody tells me I can't do something. Guys, that's the worst thing you could do is tell me I can't do something. I will make a way. Where there's a will, there is a way. When somebody tells me I can't do something, I'll pull out all the stops. Like, what? What? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, the picture is on the wall. So now I can start decorating around the picture. For now, I have, well, I mean, I was just sleeping on the couch. But I have just um, little things here and there decorated the way I want it to. 
I'm obviously going to change that top part and kind of do more things around. Um, the next thing I'd like to hang up on the wall is a shelf. I told you guys um, when I was when I was cleaning with you that I wanted to put a shelf up top this area maybe like a nice art piece but a shelf where I could put pictures of my friends and my family have it like a little sentimental area um, maybe put a lot of these things up there as well yeah kind of add more pizzazz to the uh, living room um, but yeah now that I did that I feel like I can conquer the world I could do anything Whew. Hire me guys, hire me if you want something on your walls. Guys, all night I was peeking back in this room to make sure it didn't fall on the ground. Every time I, I saw it was still on the wall, I was like, yes girl, yes, you did that. But anyway guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Like I said, this is not a tutorial guys. It's just me showing you how I do it and all the bloopers along the way because you already know there are many bloopers when you try to get handy and you've never done anything like this in your life and you're just learning on Google and YouTube videos. <laughs> but thank you Google and YouTube, you sponsored this video, all right? <laughs> and I got it done. So guys, where there's a will, there's a way. Don't tell yourself you can't do something. If you're a woman, yes, you can do it. You can do anything you put your mind to. Learn, educate yourself as much as you could and get it done, girl, get it done. So that's one thing done on my list. Many more to go, guys. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one, bye.